Hello everyone, welcome to the new tutorial. In this tutorial we will try to model this cat-like shape. You can see right here. So let's start by adding a cube. And I will also go to the front view by middle clicking or, or you can press here. And I will press Shift and V. And I will select my image plane. We are in front and select front image. Same for the right view and for the top view as well. But I will also give them 90% transparency to see the model better. Okay, let's make that cube editable by pressing C and name, name that base. Go to top view, switch to polygon mode, and let's move them here. Also for the front view, let's move them. In the right view, press Shift M V, and I will give some offset. To the image not here yes yeah, something like that okay let's duplicate that and hide the base and we will use that for extraction so Press Ctrl and move the move that axis. Also press Ctrl and move those polygons. Make them a little bit higher than the original mesh that we created. Also here and here. Let's unhide the base and put a bull object to the scene and put those two objects inside the bull. Okay, we move, we move that part too much here, yeah, right here. Okay, let's go to bull and select create single object and make that editable. Now I will select those edges and delete that selection tag and press set selection and name that A1 or whatever you like. I will add the bevel deformer by pressing shift and put that selection into the Bevel selection. Now we can offset that selection and give some subdivision. Let's go to the front view. Okay. Let's go to the base and I will select those edges and set selection again. Name that to B2. I will duplicate that bevel deformer and replace that selection with the B2. But before that, go switch to points mode and right click and slide. I will weld, weld those points and also make a new cut right here. Let's 
same here. Okay. That looks okay now. Let's make the holes right here, four holes, and also here. Let's add a cylinder, change the orientation, and put it right above that edge you can see here. And I will duplicate that by holding control. We don't need that segments over here, so 24 is good. Duplicate that. And duplicate them to rotate them by pressing shift select all the cylinders and press alt and g that will make them into one group and add a bool object again put them inside that Okay, now also don't forget to check the create single object. I will add another bevel deformer and put them into the one group. So I will select them both and press Alt and G. As you can see, there's a problem over here. So I turn up the bevel. Go to base and slide. Okay, let's increase the offset to something like two and give them some subdivision. And I will also add some material to see better. So material manager, make a new one by double clicking. And I will add a GGX. And decrease the strength. Okay, we have problems here, right here actually. A normal, normal problem. And also here, go to bevel, deformer, go to topology and checked form break rounding. That will fix the problem. So the good part of the, that kind of modeling is that we can always change the parameters of the object like we can make that for segments six we can always change them like we can move them And also, we can move here too, which is very handy and easy and fast. We can also change the bevels, 
the first pebbles that we put like here we can make that sharp or whatever you like okay guys that's that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching and i see you soon goodbye